Welcome to another video. This question would scare anyone, no matter what, for one reason. If you don't know what it means, what's the point of attempting a question that you don't understand what it is saying? And that's the biggest mystery about this, but it's not a mystery, you just need to be familiar with it. I'm sure there's something you're already used to, you're just not used to this one. You see, this is the product notation, okay? Just as you have the summation notation. So if I say, what is this? And I put a square here and I say, I am starting from, um, let's, let me make it to the end and I say n equals zero and I go to infinity. I'm sure you know what this means. It means I am raising x to power n starting from zero, and then I'm going to move the number from zero to one. So what I have here is basically x raised to power zero plus x raised to power one plus x raised to power two. I just keep going to infinity. That's what this means. This is the summation notation. You keep adding. The brother to this notation is the product notation. If I do the same thing here, and I say that n equals zero, and I have, let me start from one because we can do zero. I start from one here, and I do this, and I write x squared. All I am saying is x to the first power sorry, to the n, x to the first power multiplied. So it's multiplication now, times x to the second power, times x to the third power, times, you just keep going, just as we did here. So here you're having a product, here you're having a sum. Remember, summation notation, product notation. Once you understand what this means, you can come back here and see what to do. Before we continue, like this video, share this video, be subscribed if you're not. Leave a comment in the comment section. Okay, let's get into the video. So now that we understand what this notation means, we're starting from zero, what we're gonna do is Usually, and what you should always do if you don't have a straight up answer, is to just write the first few terms of what you have. Then you begin to see a pattern of what's going on because the hard part of this question is the pre-calculus part. The easy part is the calculus part. You see, pre-calculus is good. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna ignore this integration because we're gonna do it at the very end. We just wanna focus on this. So look at this, just this part, without the dx. You see this part simply means I'm going to find the first term. So this will be equal to the first term. I'm gonna plug in k equals zero. Watch what happens. If k equals zero, this is gonna be two raised to power zero. What is two raised to power zero? It's one, right? So I have this to be one over one plus x raised to power one. That is the first term. I am going to multiply it by the next term. Watch what the next term is. It's gonna be one over one plus, when this is one, two raised to power one is one, so this will become x, I mean two raised to power one is two, so this is x squared, and this is the next term. And guess what the next term is gonna be? It's gonna be one over, you can already see it, that when this number goes from zero to one to two, it will be two squared, so it's x raised to power four. This is one plus x to the fourth, okay? Plus, tap, 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 tap. We just keep going like that. So what do you keep seeing in the expressions? You keep seeing one over one plus x, one over one plus x squared, so you notice that these keep taking the even number powers and it just continues like that to infinity. Okay. Now, when you begin to hear infinity, start thinking 
of the, well, we don't know if it's a sum yet, but I already see plus signs already. So wait, we're multiplying, we're not adding. So if we're multiplying, let's try and multiply all the ones on top. One times one times one to infinity is just gonna end up being one. So see what we're gonna get. This is gonna be equal to one. Let's put a giant one here over. See what's gonna happen. If we multiply this by this by this, let's start with the first two, the bottom. So let's do one plus x multiplied by one plus x squared. Okay, one times one gives you one. One times x squared gives you x squared. X times one gives you x, and x times x, cube, x squared gives you x cubed. So you notice that this answer we have here is basically one plus x plus x squared plus x cubed equals one plus x plus x squared plus x cubed. This is the polynomial x to the n starting from n equals zero. This is the sum of x to the n starting from n equals zero to three. It's beginning to look interesting, right? Okay, watch. Let's look at something else. Let's multiply by this again. Remember, we're multiplying all the bottoms now because we want to know the polynomial that's going to be under. So let's multiply this again by this, which is we're multiplying this. So we're going to say 1 plus x to the fourth times 1 plus x plus x squared plus x cubed. Let's see what our answer is going to look like. Well, this is going to be 1 times 1 is 1. 1 times x is x, this is going to be x squared, and this is going to be x cubed. And let's multiply this way. What do we have? We have x to the fourth, we have x to the fifth, we have x to the sixth, no way. And then we have x to the seventh. Look, this is the sum from n equals zero to seven of x to the n again. By induction, or whatever you call it, just by looking, remember this is a competition math, okay, they expect you to use your brain. If we change the number of terms, so this is the first, second, this is the third, as we keep going, this power is going to go to infinity as we go to infinity. So we might as well just say this is 1 plus x plus x to the second plus x to the third plus top, 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 top. It goes on forever. It's infinitely long. And because we're supposed to keep going to infinity because of this. So this is what we're supposed to integrate. So instead of writing it this way, it has been written that way. Okay, so what, what happens? Let's get rid of this. So there is one major question. What technique can I use? Well, I do not know any technique that you could use. But one thing I know is that this expression is the same thing as a summation. This is the same thing as the integral from zero to one of one divided by the sum of x to the n starting from n equals zero to infinity. This is what I am supposed to integrate. Now you have to think very smartly. This expression is what you would get Say x was the common ratio of a geometric series and x was r and r is less than, the absolute value of r is less than 1, you start thinking this is going to converge and then you recall that the sum to infinity of a convergent geometric series 
is always the first term, remember, over 1 minus r. In this case, our r will be this. Now, I'm assuming you've only taken pre-calculus, you haven't taken power series. Okay, but if you've taken power series, you know that the power series that is represented by the summation is basically 1 over 1 minus x. I'm, I'm assuming. So whatever happens, whether we follow this rule or this rule, this actually can be rewritten as this. I'm, I'm, so if there was geometric series, we just need to find the first term. And we already know the first term is 1. So that's our 1. And we replace our r with x because that's the common ratio. So we can change this expression and say that this is equal to the integral from 0 to 1 of, over, um, of 1 over 1 over 1 minus x dx. Oh, oh, where is my dx here? dx. Okay. Now 1 over this needs to be flipped. So this becomes the integral from 0 to 1 over this 1 minus x goes up. 1 minus x dx. And this is the only part where integration shows up. So do you know how to integrate this? Yes, we do. Well, this is going to be equal to, if you integrate 1, you get x. Integrate this, you get minus x squared over 2. And then we're going to evaluate from 0 to 1. Well, this shows us it's going to be 1 minus 1 over 2. 1 minus 1 over 2 minus, you plug in 0, it's going to be 0 minus 0. So what do you get? Never stop learning. Those who stop learning have stopped living. Bye-bye.